All right, what's up? It's BD. Today I'm going to be talking about just penis stretching. Before I get into it, uh, consider liking and subscribing if you like what I do. I have a Patreon if you want to support me financially, but better yet, I sell um, penis enlargement aids at peakmalephysique.com. Not promising the moon with them, but they do help in certain situations. So let's get into it. To understand penis stretching, or so penis stretching is just something you can do with your hands, so it's completely free. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we are causing tiny bits of micro damage to the tissues of the penis, mainly the tunica albuginea, which is a connective sheath of tissue that the corpus cavernosum, the main erection chamber of the penis, presses against, and that's what gives you an erection. With the small degradations in tissue quality, your body signals a repair response. This is what causes these gains in size when you do these exercises. So, if you do this stretch every day, it's going to degrade a little bit more and a little bit more, and your body has to compensate for that chronic uh, trauma, so to speak. And eventually, if you time these right, as in your sessions, you can get a net accrual of more tissue than previous, meaning you get a bigger dick in the process. Now, there are two separate ways you can make length of gains. The first one I'm going to be talking about is much simpler, or not simpler, but faster than uh, the next one. So first we're going <laughs> to... Alright, so first thing I'm going to talk about is the suspensory ligament. The suspensory ligament holds the penis in place and gives the erection the ability to stick straight out. Otherwise, it would be flopping down like this. If you've seen certain penises that point straight down, they most likely had a surgery where the suspensory ligament was cut, and now they may appear longer, but that does not necessarily mean they are longer. They just... So if you have a high erection angle, meaning your penis points out like this, you will probably have more benefit than someone else whose erection angle is more like this, pointing downwards a bit. But everyone should probably work on their dispensary ligaments a bit. You have shaft elongation. Now this is a bit slower, but it is more, there is more gains to be made with this method. So basically we are stretching the shaft out itself. So that would depend on the angle you are using. It takes longer, but again, there's significantly more gains to be made this way. So let's get into the technique. It's real simple. All you do is flaccid, not erect, like this dude, is you grab about a quarter of an inch, a centimeter below the glands, like so. And then you squeeze a bit and you pull out. Normally, you'd be one-handed, all right? But since it's a dildo, I have to hold it. And you pull out like this for about 10 to 30 seconds, relax, and then do it again for multiple sets. Now, if you are circumcised like me, you are probably going to want to have your offhand push back a bit to keep the skin taut. This is just so you stretch the skin in both directions and it grows with the shaft. Otherwise, you'll have something that we call base tenting in the community, which is just when the skin from your fat pad or mons pubis, that's the same thing, pulls up and covers the newfound length that you made. Um, not that big of a deal, but it will make you look shorter than you really are. Now, to target the suspensory ligament, you want to pull as far back as possible. So you can probably start out with straight down to see how far you can get it. But if, or ideally, you want to go between the cheeks. That means pulling it behind you. Now, some of you guys are not going to be long enough to do that, and that's fine. You just want to do something that I call base pulls, and you just grip at the base, and you twist it downwards. And you'll feel a stretch mainly right here, with both between the cheeks and the base pulls that I have mentioned. Um, then straight down would work about half the shaft and half the ligament, depending on the flexibility of that ligament. Um, 
And then once you go straight out, the ligament is at a non-compromised position. So that way, all the force is being pulled onto the shaft. Therefore, the ligaments aren't going to take any of the tension and the shaft's going to take the brunt of the quote-unquote damage. So. Now, we used to say do straight up stretches as well, but I've noticed that it can cause a lot of strain on the pelvic floor. The pelvic floor is what controls your urination, ejaculation, and um, your ability to get an erection at, um, at some level. So, you are best off not going much higher than 15 degrees above parallel to the floor. We can also do static left and static right. Now, this is flipped, so it's right for me. It looks like it's left for you on the camera. But basically, this is going to stretch the side heads of the suspensory ligament and the sides of the shaft. Now, you don't necessarily need to do this, but if you have, say, a pitch in one direction, so if your penis comes out slightly to the left or slightly to the right, you probably want to pull it in the opposite direction to correct for that. Um, and then it can also help with Peyronie's. All these stretches can help with curvature of the penis, but you are probably better off just doing straight out. And then there are other exercises you can add along to that to break up that fibrotic buildup to straighten out the penis. Okay, so notice how I said static. That means without movement. There is a relatively popular exercise called side to side. I do not recommend this because your penis is not designed for pendulum movements whatsoever. This is because that will put really weird stress on your pelvic floor. Your pelvic floor controls everything, like I said before. So if you strain your pelvic floor, you're going to develop, a big, develop something called hard flaccid, and it takes anywhere from two weeks to four months to resolve, depending on how significant the strain is. So keep it safe, keep it simple, and do the static stretches. I think that covers it, to be honest. Uh, penis stretching is very simple. Uh, ideally, if you're just starting out, you want about 20 minutes of stretching a day. So when I first started, I did this all in the shower at home. So as I scrub down, I'd use my off hand to um, stretch out my penis. Uh, it, it's not very time intensive at the beginning, thankfully, but as you progress, you're gonna need upwards of one hour of tension to continually see gains. And then that's when you might wanna consider a device such as a penis hanger or penis extender to continue with quote unquote easy gains. So uh, there are routines available on r slash getting bigger for you to follow and make games like I did when I started. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you learned something. If you like what I do, consider liking and subscribing. If you wanna support me financially, I have a Patreon, but better yet, Peak Male Physique for penis lotion and such. Uh, this is BD signing off.